In this video, I'll be showing you how to install SpeedCrunch Calculator, the scientific calculator for Linux, Windows, and Mac users, but I'll be focusing on the Linux operating system in this video. If you found this video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video so that it has the description and the links for the variety of operating system. But before I do, let's first take a look at what SpeedCrunch is. SpeedCrunch is a high precision scientific calculator. That's basically the definition. It features a syntax highlighted scrollable display and is designed fully to be used by your keyboard. Now, if you like using your keyboard to input your data, then you can remove the buttons or by default it has no buttons on the screen so that you can fully use your keyboard. However, if you like using the mouse, you can enable the buttons so that you can use like a touch screen or your mouse. And it has a lot of functions and variables, has a formula book, and has the quick insertion for constants from various fields of knowledge. So, and I'll show you that in just a few moments. And as I said earlier, it's for Windows, Mac, and Linux users, and it comes in a variety of different languages. If you're a Windows user, you can click this link here, click the download button, and install it on your system. There's also a portable version, version for Windows users. If you're a Mac user, you can click this link here and download and install it for the Mac operating system. And if you're the Linux user, I recommend clicking here, and I'll show you in just a moment. But to start with, if you click the Flat Hub, if your system is set up to, to install by Flat Hubs, you can click the Install button. If not, you can read the setup guide for installing it on your type of Linux system. Now you can go to the developer's website, but currently as I'm making this video, the developer's website is currently down. So I'm gonna show this link here. When you click this link here, it will open up this website. I already clicked it. Uh, if you see down here at the bottom, at the lower left-hand corner, it's the Bitbucket. So for watching load, you can see the links here. And if you provide, if you actually click the Linux link, it's not just for Linux users. As you can see, here's older versions of Windows installation files. Here is the newest version of a Windows installation file. There is for the Mac. And here is for the Linux users, the Ubuntu and Debian based users. Here's for like Fedora. So you have a variety of installation files for the different operating system. Now if you look at here, this is the 64-bit uh, for the Ubuntu and Ubuntu and Debian based users and that's what I'll be demonstrating when you download there will be the file it's what it looks like when you download and there's the name of it now I'm going to be using the GW package installer you may have something completely different and there's other ways of installing it but if you have if you'd like to install GW here is what you put into the terminal right click copy paste that to your terminal and it will install GW on your system so that way when you double click it will open up the GW package installer you click the install package put in your password click the authenticate button wait till it says same version is already installed and it will be installed on your system however if you like installing via the terminal you can simply copy this list of commands here paste it into your terminal press the enter return key put your password and it will install on your system if you later determine that you want to remove it from your system you can right click paste it to your terminal which is sudo app get remove speed crunch and it will remove it from your system by default it will place it into the accessories folder within your menu I prefer it to be in the education folder so for the Ubuntu Mate users if you read this section here I show you how you can move it from the accessories to the education folder so that way when you see that I click here go to education as you see there's speed crunch when I first click onto it this is what it looks like when it first loads when it first loads it will look like the Ubuntu terminal however it's not it's an actual calculator like if I go over here on my keyboard I can say 2 plus 2 equals as you can see here 4 and I don't have to bring up any buttons whatsoever however if I go to my view I can say show the keypad and then I can also show at the bottom the status bar so I can go and say show the status bar so that way you know if you're in degrees radian or what format and you can click on these to change them so as you can see here you can go change it to bot uh, binary octohexadecimal so if you're in a computer class order a electronic class or a logic class you can change from clicking down here you can also go up and change it through your menus as well so if you look at my website I can say now I can type it in by the keyboard if you got a touch screen you can use the touch screen I can go eight times and then I can put my parentheses I can say 315 then I can say plus 
then I could say 45 close parentheses press the enter key and then there is the display that you see here you can also it has an answer button what you see here that res brings up the answer from your previous math problem in this case is here so if I go nine times and hit the answers that just shows me my current results which is here hit equals and that takes my answer times nine in this case and it shows me here so it's a very nice calculator and as you can see here you can go through and do all kind of formats you can change the appearance of it let me minimize this so we won't be looking at two calculators you can go to settings go to behavior change a lot of the behavior go to display and it has many different colors for your color theme and I actually like the tomorrow night that kind of matches my dark theme you can go through it if you like to see the different themes on your uh, on the system you can actually hover over this you can pause it you can fast forward it and rewind and it shows you the different looks here is a reference guide you can click that to download the reference guide or to take you to the reference guide or the user guide to show you actually how to use the calculator I'm just going to focus on you know as I already showed you the and or exclusive or but you can actually go through your settings and there's lots of features within the settings you can come up here result format you can change it from decimal fixed decimal engineering scientific you can choose the binary octal hexadecimal you can set the precision on how it's automatically there you can set it for two digit three digit zero digits of course you can set your precision you can go to a complex format you can change that as well your input formats you got different ways of like showing a dot or a comma there shows the, the comma you can actually say show the dot here so if you're saying like twelve dollars and 21 cents so if I go twelve dollars 21 cent plus six dollars and 58 cent when I hit the equals it now shows it the decimal displays rather than the comma so you can go through here and change uh, your behavior you can change your display you can change the font the language you could go to view you could actually show off the formula book on the right hand side and you can pull this in so you got your list of formulas that you can click on to them like the circle you can click here and there's some of the formulas for the circle so it's got built-in formulas within the actual calculator you can go back uncheck the formula book you can go to constants which you could go through you can actually search for a constant these are values that will always remain the same or you can search like if I put the pi symbol in there it will find pi let me go and turn the constants off you've got your functions that you can look through and find functions and there's lots and lots of functions to choose from like there's the exclusive or for those of you in engineering or your logic classes computer classes you here got your variables you can assign variables and actually let me turn this off you can assign variables here like if I'll go to X equals say 7 press the enter key then I go Y equals like 5 equals then if I go X and then I can say plus then I can say Y then I can say equals and as you can see here 7 plus 5 equals 12 so you can set your X variables and your Y variables or you can assign a number to a variable so that you can work it with this calculator here so those are variables you got your user functions which are here you also got your bit fields your history you can clear out your history as well you can show your history over here on the side then you have a feature that allows you to clear your history and I'll show you that in just a moment let me make it a little bit narrower here you got your edit where you can clear your history clear your expression select an expression to pay so if you copied something off the clipboard you can copy the last resort or you can currently copy what you have selected you can say wrap the selection in a parentheses here are your sessions you can load a session so if you've currently saved something if you stopped you can hit save and save the session you're working on go back load it at a different time you can import a session and you can export it in either plain text or HTML and here's your quit over on the side you got your user manual you have access to by clicking here you have the help that you can use F1 you can check for updates you can send feedback you can join the community you can check the news feed or you can donate or you can click about speed crunch and it shows you what the current version is and it runs off of QT version 
five. So it's a very, very complex calculator. The only problem I saw with SpeedCrunch is I brought up the previous calculator that I did a video on, which was Calculate. And when I tried to do some algebraic expressions by simplifying like this, it wouldn't allow me to do it. So I highly recommend at the very bottom, so if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, I said Speed Crunch and Calculate are tools that offer quick solutions to different math questions. If you have to multiply two binomials together in your algebra class, then I highly recommend you use Calculate. However, if you're looking for a good scientific calculator, then I recommend you to give Speed Crunch a try. So it does have a weaknesses with algebraic expressions and minimizing them. Other than that, it is a great calculator. It may not be for everyone. However, if you'd like to install it and give it a try, I think you'll enjoy it. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day.